Today we're making Putu Piri. What day is it? You know, it probably would have been smart to like check the time. I love being stuck inside all the time. <laughs> it reminds me of pool water. <laughs> Got your peanut butter in my sugar kind of situation. What are we making? Today we're making Putu Piri, a steamed rice cake dessert from Malaysia. What's in it? Uh, we just have rice flour, um, water, salt, lemongrass, vanilla extract. It would normally be pandan leaf. We couldn't get that. And palm sugar, and coconut flakes, and peanut butter in one of these. Yeah, one of these has a surprise peanut butter center. Keep watching to find out who gets the peanut butter! <laughs> what you doing there, Dennis? I'm just measuring out two cups of uh, rice flour. We're gonna add two cups of rice flour to a skillet. No need to sift it. And we're gonna add some lemongrass. And basically we're just gonna toast this for seven minutes. And it's gonna completely change the texture of the flour. You have to keep uh, keep it moving. Like every now and then, you don't have to like stir it vigorously, I don't think. Yeah, because it's only getting toasted if it's on the bottom. At the same time as we're doing that, we are going to boil some water with lemongrass, vanilla extract, and some salt. A little bit of vanilla extract. I love vanilla extract, so I, I had a ton. I think, that's, I think that's a reasonable amount, honestly. That was a reasonable amount. Yeah, I need to add more. Oh, we're being unreasonable. Normally this is flavored with pandan leaf, but it's not something that we can find right now. It's supposed to be like kind of like a, a citrusy, vanilla-y flavor. So that's why I'm using something citrusy and something vanilla-y. That's amazing. Really, I'm just looking for it, a uh, change in texture. It's not supposed to get doughy, right? Before that? It does not get doughy. Okay. It's like, it's very crumbly. Like chalky. Yeah, like you, it just, you go right through it. So now we are going to sift this. Don't touch me with that hot metal. You don't want a brand? <laughs> I've already graduated college, I don't need a fraternity brand. Ah, cool. Next we're gonna add the water. This is the really hard part. Wait, really? Mm -hmm. Oh god. You only want to add a little bit of water at a time and work it in. Oh, why? Because if you add too much water, it'll start to clump up. Uh, so yeah, this dough just came off the burner. It's really hot. <laughs> So what are we looking for exactly? It's getting hotter. <laughs> it's it's like the sun. It's doing fusion. Basically, you're gonna stop once it starts like clumping up like a little bit. It has to stay like powdery. Uh huh. And once you go too far, you can't undo it. It's like rocket science. And we're gonna sift this again, by the way. Again? Yeah. Crazy. It ain't much, but it's not work. All right, so you're done when you start to get like breadcrumbs, kind of like this, and you take it into your hand and press it together. It should hold the shape and oh. then fall apart kind of readily. When okay, you press gotcha, it. gotcha. So now we're sifting it again because, like I said, there's breadcrumbs in here now. We want to get rid of all of those. So make sure your bowl is like dry before you do this, otherwise it's gonna start clumping up again. I can imagine me making that mistake though. <laughs> I could too. Thanks. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Take. So your flour, uh -huh. put it in. Are we supposed to make like an even layer? Yeah. So we Are we also supposed to splash it all over the counter? Yes. That's important. <laughs> do you okay. want a spoon? <laughs> Why would I do that? Okay, so now we have like a small little layer here on the bottom. So now you're just gonna sprinkle your pump sugar on top of that. You know what, I didn't even have to whittle this. I should have just broken off a chunk and crumbled it. <laughs> I wanted to give you something to do. Thanks. I guess it makes the clumps even if you whittle them. I'm just trying to justify why I spent like 10 minutes whittling sugar. <laughs> now I'm gonna add uh, more flour to cover it. Uh -huh. And then we're gonna cover that with coconut. I've also found a really cool filling is peanut butter. That sounds flippin' delicious. This is where it needs to be level. Oh, okay. I don't know, do you want a spoon? No. No. Take, I, this is the original spoon. Take the, spoon. the hands given to us by God. Look. You're also, the, you you're also the original toilet paper, Dennis, but we don't do that anymore. The spoons are trash. So the coconut's gonna be on the bottom. Yeah, this is gonna be flipped upside down once it's steamed. Like you can put coconut in the middle, you can put it on bottom, you can put it on top. Everywhere. This isn't working out as well as I thought it would. It's okay to just put like a big clump in the middle. In the middle? Yeah, it makes it like uneven, it makes it like a surprise, you know? Mm -hmm. But the, the peanut butter with it is so good. You think that's enough? Yes, More? that's plenty. Okay. Now, we just put this in a steamer basket and steam it for about oh. 25 minutes. Ooh. Normally you would use molds for these, like little tiny metal bowls. Now 
here's the trick, ready? See you at the table. Pretty sure you got the peanut butter. Wow, this consistency is really fun. Yeah, it's really interesting. Yeah, nice. Mm -hmm. Woo! Whoa. Whoa. I think we needed to like steam it hotter or something. I don't know about you, but like the top of mine, I don't think the rice powder got cooked in the top. Yeah, it's very, very it's really dusty. Yeah, I got, I got those <laughs> straight off my nose. <laughs> Besides that though, we're good. Did the flour need to be moister? But also we were using plastic bowls that don't conduct the heat very well. Mm. Oh, it's pretty good. It has a cool consistency. The glaze is really good in the center. Thanks for joining us. That's all folks. Like, comment, subscribe, ding the bell. What do we threaten them with? I like that shirt too. It's a good shade of yellow. Thanks. Yeah. I like your shirt too. You can't see it, but it's like a... Oh my god, burgundy. We're, we're Gryffindor. <laughs>